Hey, new scientists! Welcome back to another edition of Statistics for the New Social Scientist. Today, we're going to talk about comparing two population proportions, partly using SPSS and then partly using other software that exists on the internet. So, the first thing we do is we calculate the proportions for each of our two groups. To do that, we go up to Analyze, we go down to Descriptives, and we click on Cross Tabs. We then scroll down to our group variable. So here I'm interested in comparing those who identified as female to those who identified as non-female. So I click gender underscore D, and I click on this top right-facing arrow. I then scroll down to the dichotomous variable that I want to compare between these two groups. So here I click on prior victimization of crime. I then click on this middle right-facing arrow. I then click on cells, and then I go down to the percentages section, and I check the box next to row. I then click the continue button, and then I click OK. So here, SPSS gives us our cross tabulation comparing the different gender identities and whether or not individuals in these groups have been the victim of crime in the past. Now, in order to conduct a two population test of hypotheses for two population proportions, we turn to this website, Social Science Statistics. So, this website offers a number of statistical routines that you can use to calculate your statistics. So, here we're using their z score calculator for two population proportions. So, the way that this website works is we need to enter in the sample sizes for each of our groups as well as the proportions for each of our groups. So we go to SPSS, and we go to our cross-tabulation, and we see that there were 40 people who identified as female and 24 who identified as non-female. So here under sample size 1, so we enter in 40 for all the people who identified as female, and we enter in 24 for all the people who identified as non-female. We then enter the proportions for each of these groups of individuals who experienced crime in the past. So here we have 29.2 and 40. So here I enter 0.292, and for the first sample, I enter in 0 0.40. I can then set my significance level, and then I can tell social statistics whether I'm conducting a one-tailed or a two-tailed test. I then click on this Calculate Z button. So here down at the bottom, in this red text, sometimes in blue text, I get my Z statistic, which here equals 0.8717, as well as my p-value, which is equal to 0.3843. Now this website tries to help you conduct your test of hypotheses. So we can see this message here. The result is not significant at p less than 0.05. Now unfortunately, this conclusion isn't necessarily correct. So recall, when it comes to conducting a two-population test of hypotheses, two-population proportions, we can either conduct a two-tailed test, a lower-tailed test, or an upper-tailed test. So depending on the type of test that we're conducting, this is going to affect the p-value we get. So in this case, what we want to do is click the radio button next to the words two-tailed test, and then use the information about the Z statistic and the two-tailed p-value to help us calculate the correct p-value for our test of hypotheses. Now, remember, if you're interested in conducting a two-tailed test, then the default p-value provided is correct. However, if you're interested in conducting, say, an upper-tailed test, and you get a positive Z statistic, then what you need to do is take that default p-value and divide it by 2. If, however, you're conducting an upper tail test and the default Z statistic is negative, what you have to do is take that default p-value, divide it by 2, and then take that proportion and subtract it from 1. So if you're conducting a lower tail test and your test statistic is negative, what you do is you take your default p-value and you divide it by 2. If, however, you're conducting a lower tail test and your default test statistic turns out to be positive, what you do is you take that default p-value, divide it by 2, and then subtract that proportion from 1. Okay, so that's it. 
That's how you conduct a two population test of hypotheses for population proportions using a combination of SPSS and software available online. The rest of the assignment is now up to you.